Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I'm literally so hyped today because I'm getting my hair done. We're going for a trim. My hair is like super overdue. I'm at that six month mark and whew, it's a struggle. My hair is like breaking, it's dry. I got a ton of single strand knots at the bottom of these ends. So I'm super ready to kind of get it trimmed as well as kind of shaped right now. You know, honestly, my shape is not terrible, but I am still growing out my bangs. And so I feel like sometimes it can look a little like kind of choppy. So I'm hoping we can get it kind of shaped really nicely as well, but just still keeping the length. And then we are also going to be getting into some colors. So I'm in the studio lights. So you guys can get an idea of what we're looking like now. If you follow me on IG, you kind of have an idea of what my hair looks like. But these are Pintura highlights that I got probably a year and a half ago now at this stage. I haven't touched it up or anything. And I did get these without bleach. So this was literally color that the hairdresser just let sit in my hair. So actually, I found a new salon to go to. You guys saw my last vlog when I went to Curl Envy Salon. I had an amazing experience. I really enjoyed it. But I still, you know, I'm new to Atlanta and I still kind of want to branch out and try different curly hair salons. So I did my research again, found another salon. And so today I'm going to Salon Scanda. And the reason why I picked them was mainly at first because they have a master three level stylist according to like the Diva Curl certifications and stuff. So I went in last week, did a mini consultation. We talked about color. She did a little patch test on my hair to ensure that yes, we could proceed without bleach. And they did confirm that we could proceed without bleach. And then she also actually suggested that we go for a balayage kind of look as opposed to Pintura highlights which is very exciting because it's gonna be something different. You typically actually see balayage more on people with straight hair. It's a beautiful look, but I have noticed that there's kind of a little trend coming up where people are doing it on curly hair as well. And basically you can think of balayage as like ombre. So it's a similar type of effect to the Pintura highlights, but then it like the bottom of the hair, it just goes into like a different color all the way at the bottom. So instead of just having like stringy highlights all over, we're gonna do a really nice like balayage. Some people are calling it curlyage. <laughs> um, so it can all just kind of like come together and like be married all together and not just look like stringy highlights. You know what I mean? Oh, and guess what? I'm not going to the master stylist anymore. <laughs> so I actually did my curl consultation with Crystal, who is one of the owners of Salon Scanda. And I just, I love her. I feel like when we were talking, she was telling me things that I absolutely love. She mentioned that she doesn't like when highlights look super stringy and just like streaks in your hair, you know, and not like actually blended properly. And I was like, perfect. That's exactly what I like. We spoke about cuts and she was like, yeah, you don't want to cut too much off the top. So then you end up looking like you have a mullet. Like she just mentioned all the right things and all the things that I like, I find that I'm pretty picky. So when I found that she was kind of picky as well, I was like, wow, this might be actually perfect. I just felt a good vibe. Also girl power, you know, that's it. I'm doing it with Crystal. I haven't seen her do as much like hair like mine. I've seen her do a lot of looser curls. I've seen like the one and two super curly girls, but she doesn't, it's not like her page is full of people with hair like mine. So that's kind of the one thing that's in the back of my mind. Like, okay, I'm really curious to see like how my hair is actually gonna turn out. I do have a really good vibe though. Like I think my, my hopes are high. Here is the before. I am getting ready to actually leave the house now, so let's go. Mama's got to go get her her hair done, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's a belly rub, belly rub, belly rub. You don't want me to leave. You want me to just stay and give you belly rubs all day. You are so cute. And boom, and boom, and pow. Y'all, I'm so excited. Excited, excited. <laughs> oh, it doesn't take much for you to get excited, huh, Hirsch? Oh, I also need to put you guys onto these Sperry's. I'm gonna link these in the description box below because how cute are these? These are not like the old looking boat shoes, you know? These are super, super cute and beyond comfy. I can't even tell you. So I'm gonna link these below for y'all as well. We're here. Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about 
like your routine okay and maintenance as far as like how often are you washing yeah so i tend to wash between like every four or five days or okay. so my hair doesn't usually like to wait a full week because then it feels okay. like really dry is there like anything that you use regularly in your routine yes so brio geo i don't know if you've mm -hmm. heard of that brand yeah. obsessed okay. love their stuff and i know we're gonna be using Innocent products. Ooh, today. I'm excited. I've been wanting to try those. And then for the cut, I think I know we talked about it mm -hmm. um, a little bit. I think we're doing more of just like a shaping and kind of working with the shape you have already. Yes. I love the shape. I, I just, too. it's just a little bit choppy, I yeah. think, because yeah. of it growing out. So, yeah. yeah. You just have places that have probably grown longer than others. Yeah. I know these are still kind of growing out a little bit. So, I don't know if we can even them find a way to like yeah make it not so blending yeah the face frame yeah is gonna help you feel better about those right the way that they're growing out perfect um, and we'll, but we're keeping them longer right yes okay keep them nice and long because i want them to continue growing out yes. keeping them as much length as we yeah. can Okay. Cool. And so this is the detox thing that you right. said. Right. And okay. you can do it at home. What vitamin C powder? Like, is any powder yeah. fine? Yeah. Just any vitamin C powder. Oh. And then you mix it like a paste. Okay. And then you're gonna apply it like a shampoo. So do you put it like to the scalp first? Yes. And then I'm gonna have you touch that. You feel how it's like knotted? Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's so like that's, not smooth. that's the buildup. Working uh, its way down. Okay. Because gotcha. feel like right up there. It's like smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna give you that because I'll have you like Thank feel you. things in a minute again. So we're working all the build up and product like down right now. Okay. So detox once a month. Mm hmm. And you can either come in here and get it done mm -hmm. or you can do it yourself. Okay. A lot of times people too, to make it a little easier, you can put it on, like put the conditioner vitamin C in, let it sit mm -hmm. for 30 minutes and then start working it through. Yeah. Day. I went in at about 11 a.m. What time is it now? 7.09. So this is really the effect we were kind of going for. The dark to light, the balayage. I love it. It kind of toned down the choppiness of my highlights as well. So I really, really like that. So the only thing is, I just, I just, I can kind of tell that one side is a little bit darker than the other. Um... Otherwise, I am very happy with my experience at Salon Scanda. I think they were amazing. I loved the most that she sat me down first and had a conversation with me. A lot of times when I go to hairdressers, they just sit you down and then they're in your hair doing stuff. I really liked that they took the time. We got to talk, get on the same page. I expressed my expectations. She expressed the game plan and so I felt really comfortable moving forward. It is still day one, so it's still a little bit on the flatter side in terms of like my roots and stuff, but overall I love it. She okay, so here is a day two update. I thought it was very, very necessary to do this because one, my hair is like fully fluffed out and everything. Obsessed with the cut. Look at this body. I, ooh, I love the cut. Crystal killed it. Now that we're in daylight, you guys can get a better idea of the color. You can kind of see it. 
the ombre effect so deep roots and then going on into the chocolate brown so you can kind of see here how this side is definitely darker than this side I mean that's kind of pretty obvious so I'm gonna chat with Crystal she's one of those hairdressers that will like listen to you I really love her as a hairdresser so so much I think this is just I don't know <laughs> But I'm definitely gonna talk to her about kind of fixing that up, evening out the two sides, and then also possibly adding more dimension. I really, I don't want this to be the final stop for me, actually. I, I said I wanted like subtle, but I don't know. Like I love the ombre vibe, but I think it would be really cool with still some highlights in there as well. So this is not gonna be the final stop for my hair. So what we're probably gonna have to do actually is a part two. Yes, and I don't know how long I have to wait until I can color my hair again without like ruining it and stuff But I'm gonna chat with Crystal. She's one of those hairdressers that will actually like sit down listen to you and Come up with a game plan with you. I love it. I love her. I love the vibe of the whole entire salon It's actually mom and daughter. I didn't realize it's a mom and daughter thing. They own it together. So I just yeah, I overall Thoroughly enjoyed my experience at Salon Scanda. I will be going back, obviously, like I said, because this is not going to be the final stop. But honestly, I love it. I love my curls look amazing. The products that they use, the way she cut my hair, everything so, so good. I just we got to do a couple tweaks to this color to really get it perfect and exactly where I want it to be. But. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have a conversation with her and I will keep you guys updated. Just stay tuned for the part two video. I don't know when that's gonna be. We probably have to wait a couple of weeks before kind of touching it up, coloring it again so that my hair doesn't get like over processed, you know, and then end up damaged. Definitely don't want that. So yeah, we'll just, you know, have to wait and then stay tuned. I'll definitely keep y'all updated, but so far so good. I love how this side is looking, the chocolatey, you know, with the depth on the inside is, I think it's really, really nice, but I do, I, I do want a little bit of additional dimension, right? Right? Are y'all feeling me? Do you feel what I feel? I mean, look at the cut. Can y'all see the back too? I can't really see the back, but I'll show y'all the back. I am obsessed with the cut and y'all know I used to have bangs so she was able to kind of frame my face a little bit and like blend the length of the bangs down with the rest of my hair so we ha I have like really nice blended layers now that I'm like super happy with because with my bangs growing out it was looking like really crazy and choppy and just like ooh, not a vibe so okay I'm excited I'm happy and yeah Again, just stay tuned for part two, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and let me know what you think of the color. What do you think I need to add? Should I leave it? You know, obviously after we even it out, should I leave it? Do you wanna see highlights on top? Like, let me know your ideas. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and following along with me and the journey's not over. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.